Hi, I am Andrew WK, and this is Destroy, Build, Destroy! The competition where two teams destroy stuff. Yeah! Oh! 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 And use the wreckage to build awesome machines to compete with. Yeah! One! Left, left, left. And the losers get destroyed! Battling it out today are the green team, the techies. My name is Patrick, I am 14 years old. I hope to go to the Air Force Academy. My parents knew that I loved to blow stuff up, so they kind of channeled it into rocketry. Hi, I'm Ryan, I'm 13 years old. I play video games a lot. This kind of reminds me of a video game because there's a lot of blowing up stuff. Hi, I'm Tatiana and I'm 12 years old. I am a really big techie because everything is that I do is electronic. I am competitive and I'm not always gonna be your friend. I'm really here for me and my team. And they're up against the orange team, the surfers. I'm Cody, I'm 14, we're gonna wreck the techies. I know about mechanics, I know about welding, I know about electricity, I know how to fit things together. I'm Ashlyn, I'm 14, and I love to surf. I'm just naturally competitive, and I don't go easy on people. I'm Jamie, the Mexican samurai, and I'm 13 years old. I'm a surfer. I'm not a guy that likes to think a lot. I just like to go and keep on going, and I'm here to destroy the tech team. All right, guys, today's challenge is truly psychotic. It's something I call crane wreck. Yeah! yeah! And that's what you'll be building, mobile cranes. Like a real crane, it's gotta have wheels, steering, and a crane arm. And in our case, it will need to hook, move, and hang targets from that pond in a battle between the cranes you create. Now, what do you think you'll use to build mobile cranes? Well, you'll be using the wreckage and whatever else is left over after blowing up those two semi-truck trailers. Yeah! Yeah! And as always, on this twisted show of ours, each team will be destroying the other team's tractor trailer. You have three destroy options. Number one, a bazooka. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, the destroyers. <laughs> they're angry, they're carrying weapons, and they're gonna take all of it out on the other team's tractor trailer. Number three, something I like to call slice and dice. We wrap a big 10,000 pound test cable around the tractor and we literally pull it apart. So Orange Team, you won the chance to pick first. What method of destruction would you like? Yes, I was just thinking about the slice and dice. Yeah, but the bazooka probably will make bigger yeah, explosion. Yeah. Let's do the bazooka. bazooka? Uh, we'll do the bazooka. Bazooka, all right. And Green Team, what do you think? You've got two options left. I think we should do slice and dice. Trucks, I mean, they're going to tear it apart. But they're probably only going to tear it once. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that they're going to tear it a lot. OK. We'll pick the slice and dice. Slice and dice, all right. All right, Orange Team, it's time for you to launch your bazooka whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, destroy! That was like a movie. The bazooka made like a huge explosion and everything just flew off. My mind is working like at 100 miles an hour right now. I'm trying to figure out how we can use all those pieces to make a crane. Now it's time to do the slice and dice. Three, two, one, destroy! Is that what you thought it was going to be? Yeah. yeah! A lot better. The slice and dice, it, it was just complete destruction. That was like oh, kindergartner stuff. Good. Slice and dice just ripped apart like that. But you know, that's actually kind of gives us an upper hand because gives us more parts to work with and try to make something bigger. All right, guys, it's time to build your mobile cranes. You can use anything and everything from the wreckage, including what was inside the trailer, as well as all the stuff I've thrown in there. And you'll have your very own dedicated crew of builders. Now, these people are highly skilled, and they're there for you to boss around. After the build is done, we'll put you and your creations to a test in a face-off challenge where we'll find out whose crane moves and works better. The winners get $1,000 each. Yeah. But best of all, the winners get to destroy the other team's creation. Yeah. Yeah. That's really the exciting part. 
Is you guys ready? Yeah! Three, Three two, two, one! Bill, get out there! Go, 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 go! Go! Right. Tim, right. 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 We as surfers, you know, um, a lot of people think jocks aren't that smart, but we actually are pretty smart. We all get A's and B's and C's and F's for fantastic. With the spray paint, okay. if we took these wheels off and put one in the front and just turned that one wheel. That could work out. Well, we started doing the crane kind of like at a radio tower, you know, how they have the little tiny building type of thing. And then um, the hooks, it's kind of like a um, fisherman's hook, you know? So it'll be easier to grab things out of the water and bring them out. It's going to be on top. It's going to give it a base up. It's going to make it higher. Surfers are just more fun, and like techies are kind of like, no, we have to do this. But we're just kind of like, go with the so flow, do whatever we have to do to win. You guys can keep on working. I'm going to go over there and try to check out what they're doing, right? I think me and Jamie and Ashwin all agree on stuff. And I think we have like more of a team than them. So we need about six Here. feet high and maybe and re really I long. Think I won a robotics competition once, so I can plan things, I can put it together, and the surfers don't stand a chance against us. Our design of the crane is to have like a little platform and have four wheels so it can be more stable. So then we're gonna have some counterweights and then we're gonna have like a little thing in the back so you can hold it and move the crane up and down and side to side so you'll be able to get the targets better. So make something like this. Tatiana is busting us around and she's told us what to do. So I'll be like driving it, I guess, and you guys can like steer it. Yeah. I'm the leader and that's really the role that I, I like playing. Yeah. And I'll tell you which ways to go. If taking charge is what I need to do to help us win this game, that's gonna be my number one priority. Okay, I think we got it. Green team, orange team, bring it in. Stop building for a second and come on here. It's time for what I call the set back challenge. You ready for that? Yeah! All right, let's go do it. Come on. All right, guys, today's setback challenge is called Water Cannon Combat. Right. Each team has six barrels. Each team also has an amazing, awesome water cannon capable of unleashing 800 gallons of water per minute. Sweet. Okay, your goal is to use the water cannons to shoot your six barrels from that end of the pond to this end across the finish line. The first team to push all six of their barrels across the line wins. The team that wins gets to unleash some creative destruction on the losing team's vehicle and set them back in the competition. Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. Now, each team has to pick someone to go up in the truck and be the shooter. Who's it going to be? Jamie. Yeah. Jamie, all right. Tatiana, fantastic. So I, I'm taking control of this right now because I really wanted to do it. I believe that I'm going to win. I shoot a water cannon. I'm actually guaranteed that I'm going to beat her. All right, guys, this is it. Green team, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Orange team, you ready? Yeah! On your marks, get set, go! All right, green team's off to a strong start. When that water went on, I was like, wow, dude, this thing is just pouring out there straight, like, fast, and it was just like that. The orange team has got their barrels in the water, too. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to go out that fast. 800 gallons of water is a lot per minute. My strategy was to make sure that I hit the barrel right in the center so I can get it all across the lake. And then when I get to the net, was to hit it kind of on the barrel and kind of under the water so it can kind of make it spring up. You gotta get up and over. Okay, three deep. One barrel officially over the finish line. You got it! And got orange it. team, they you have their it. first barrel. And another one for green. You gotta get it up and over, there it is. Two barrels for green. Yeah, Bo! Let's go! Orange team has got to catch up a bit now. The challenge was actually harder than I thought because you had to do two things at once. To turn it up and down, you had to go like this, and turn it sideways, you have to go like this. Now he's moving, now he's moving. Orange team is moving right along. He's got that good aim. Oh, watch out! Let's go! Two barrels for orange. And three barrels for green. 
right there. And the orange beat is three to three. Yeah! Another barrel for green. Four barrels for green, three for orange. I looked over and shoot. Tatiana was actually shooting more barrels than I was, and I was getting kind of freaked out. I was, I was going like this, I was like, just going like this, trying to figure out. Four barrels for orange, and five barrels for green. Yeah. One more. Five. This is it. Tatiana can bring it home. One more barrel. This is it. Orange team, you can still do this. And that's it! It's over! Good job, Jamie. You too. Jamie did a good job, but I did better. Guys, green team won. Congratulations. Now you get to do some damage to the orange team's vehicle. Option number one is the fork liftoff. We basically raise their vehicle up with that forklift and drive it who knows how far, leaving it for them to figure out how to get it back here onto their build site. Option number two, the back hoe dump. We get their vehicle underneath there, dump all that dirt gravel all over it, leave it for them to clean out, dig off. Which one would you like to select? OK, so I was kind of thinking of the forklift, because then they could lift it up and it might fall off. And with the back hoe, just make it messy. It would just make it messy, and it wouldn't really do anything. Um, we're gonna go with, with the, the um, fork lift off. off. Fork lift off. All right, let's go do it. All right, guys, on your cue, he's gonna move. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. Take, take it off. away. Is he gonna drop it? Dude, if he drops it, I'll be so mad. Oh. All right, there you go. Where, where, is where it are going? they taking it? Fork lift off. They're taking it away. Just how far, no one can say. You're getting to lose sight of it. Dude, that is not fair. Orange team, we got some catching up to do. Go get your vehicle. Green team, you got a little advantage now. Take advantage of it. Yeah. Are we riding over there? The forklift moved there is really far away, and they, they were behind us in the first place. So this is going to completely end their chances of winning. Oh. has sent the surfers to retrieve their build, while the techies use the extra time to get way ahead in theirs. Right now, we're putting on the driver's seat, and we're putting out the tower for the crane. We're way ahead of them, and ours is much better design. Uh, hey, here, do you want me to steer? Okay. Yeah. Give me one good push, and I can drive it all the way there. Yeah. Okay, Watch back. out. Turn it. All right. Slow down. This front wheel's shaking really. What up? Come on, green yeah. team. What green team? Wait, what? How do we stop? They're showboating so much. They're not going to get any work done. You didn't get nothing. What green team? What green team? What? <laughs> it's always the one who showboats who ends up losing in the end. Yeah. Jamie's being a little too cocky right now. Oh! He was overconfident before the setback challenge. Dude, this thing's so freaking fast. He's doing the same thing now, so it could happen again. Attention, green team, orange team. You got 10 minutes left to finish your creations. Right now, we're not that behind. Uh, we had to make a, a weight on the back because it was too heavy, so we made the counterweight. Our vehicle's doing good, but we just need to finish up on the last touches, so we're kind of a little bit behind, but I think we'll catch up. Hey, Ryan, can you do this side? Yeah. I take charge of the build because uh, Patrick and Ryan didn't really know what to do. Right now, I'm feeling very confident about my vehicle. Actually, my team's vehicle. Even though me and Patrick did most of the work, Tatiana's taking most of the credit. But me and Patrick don't care. We just want to win this race and win $1,000. Attention, green team, orange team. Time is officially up. Stop your building. Time is up. Let's check out what they built. The surfers built the orange dragon. They topped their 25-foot crane arm with a three-prong hook 
and used a three-wheel design with joystick steering for more maneuverability. The techies built the Mean Green Fighting Machine. They went with a longer but heavier crane arm and attached an upward-facing V-shaped hook for easier target snagging. All right, guys, it is time for the final challenge. So you ready? Yeah! In that pond are three different kinds of targets. They're all worth the same. Your goal is to pick up the targets using your mobile crane, latch them, and bring them over and hang them on your hooks. You have 10 minutes for this challenge. The team with the most targets hung at the end of the 10 minutes wins $3,000. And something you can't put a price on, the glory of destroying the losing team's vehicle. Yeah! OK, go do it! Let's do it! We're ready to win. We're going to take Green Team down, like crazily down. Yeah! Uh, they say they're mean green fighting machines. Well, we're mean green. Well, no, we're mean orange beating green machines. You have to get ready to push. I'm a very competitive person. I get really mad if I don't win. You don't want me to lose, because I don't know what's going to happen. I get really mad. On your marks, get set, go! We got to go forward. Come on. OK, bring it up. Okay, up. Up. And the green team has hooked their first target. OK, go, go! Now, yeah, get in. Right when we started, I realized that our um, crane was really heavy. Move the tires. Hurry up. I'm trying. Stop. Stop. Close. Stop. 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 Okay. Yeah. No, we need it closer. No, we don't. Or team has hooked their first target. Ashley, oh. she's the one that's kind of doing the steering system because I think she's the lightest out of all of us. Cody, you know, he has a big job because he's actually doing the crane, moving it left to right, up and down. Orange team has almost hung their first target. Up, 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 up. My job, all I have to do is try to get the crane, try to like steer everybody in the right direction. And they have! Orange team has one target up! It's almost got it here. Come on, win. Come on. And okay. there it is! Green team has hooked and hung their first target. Okay. Congratulations! Yeah. Orange is team is still trying to get theirs. Okay, the orange team has snagged their second target out of the pond. Push up, Cody. I am. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And Orange Team has hung their second target. Okay, you're going the I wrong way. I know. Communication right now is really breaking down. Go for the red one, red one, red yeah, one. You can't. Talk down to her. What's up, y'all ain't that mean, Patrick? It's not going backwards. What's behind here that's not letting it go? No, you have to be holding it by the handles. Yeah, I think she's having a meltdown. Oh, oh God. Seven minutes left and $3,000 on the line. The techies are short circuiting. Meanwhile, the surfers are riding the wave. Woo. Got it. Got it. Perfect. We're getting things out of the water quickly, putting them on smoothly, going back, putting them back on, repeating, doing the same thing over and over again. And we're doing really, really good, you know? Who are we? Oh, uh, we started to hear a lot of yelling over at the green team side. Go for the red one at the end. Oh, red one at the end. We can't get that. I'm yelling at them, what are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. And we're yelling back, yes, we do know what we're doing. And I keep saying, no, you don't. No, you don't. Turn this way towards me. I can't see it. I don't know what to do. Right there, right there. Wow. Yes. Seventh target officially hung by the orange team. This is unbelievable, folks. We're in the lead, and I'm thinking, don't. Screw up. Okay, we got and the green team has done it. Very good, green team. Way to not give up. Got it. One minute left. Just attack. We got it. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Holy smokes. Orange team just hooked their eight. Will they go for nine? Can yeah. they get the last one out? Yeah. OK, we got it. That is amazing effort, green team. This is it, guys. Four, three, two, oh, one. have officially won. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. We won because we used teamwork. We weren't the smartest team, but we were talking more. And that helped a lot, I think. Oh! Yes, good job. Good, good job. Good job. Yes. Jamie. Good job. Right now, I feel really bad. I knew I could have not yelled at my team as much as I did. I knew it could have worked as a team better, but we didn't. 
Good Congratulations. Job. That was really, really incredible. Right. Really, Good really job, cool. green team. Give me a handshake, please. They weren't as fast of a, as fast. I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. Oh I want a thousand dollars. And we get to blow up the machine. Yeah. Yeah. Orange team, it's time to unleash the final destroy on the green team's vehicle. Yeah. Let me hear it again. Come on. Yeah. All right. So you got two choices for destruction. One, a classic TNT. You lift that plunger, down it goes. Boom goes the dynamite. Or number two, a remote controlled explosive device. You control this, drive it up the platform, underneath the vehicle, trigger the explosion, and again, boom, to smithereens. Love it. So, which one would you like to use? Well, I don't know about that one, dude, because I need to press Yeah, mold controlled explosive device, dude, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go with the mold controlled explosive device. I like it. I yeah. like your choice. Now it's time to see. You guys get the blast shield? I'll get this ready. Holy smokes. Go, nice and easy. Okay. Ah. All right, this is it. You ready to drive that thing? Yeah. All right, remote control explosive device, go! All right, there it goes. Jamie, make sure. Whatever you do, do not drive it back this way. Okay, yeah. Keep it going away from us. That's all I care about. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh! oh. 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 Wow! Holy cow. Dude! When the car was going up there, I was pretty scared. Explosion was the biggest one I've ever seen, even in movies. Even though we lost, I thought of the explosion, just to see it, it was really cool to watch and just experience all together. Wow. I think we won because uh, we had really good communication. Teamwork's actually the best thing for our team, you know, make everything work. Orange all the way.